Welcome to Parashat Study Plus. We are learning to be Tzchak Arama, the Akedat Yitzchak on Parashat Vayichi, the last Parashat in Sefer Bereshit. And we'll be analyzing amongst the Berachot that Yaakov gives to his children before he passes. He addresses Shimon and Levi in a very, very rebuking manner. And he chastises them, specifically for the actions that they did in the story of Shechem and how violent they were. In the last Pasuk in which he addresses them, it says, Arur Apam Ki'az. He curses their anger because it was so cruel, and because and he curses their, their uh, violence because it was so fierce. They will be scattered amongst Israel and Yaakov, amongst the tribes. And Bitzchak Arama on this tries to explain and understand exactly what is being spread out and scattered. The most common explanation is Levi is scattered, isn't giving a nahala amongst the Am Israel and Eretz Israel, but rather he is scattered amongst all of the tribes and has to rely on the tirumot of the people. And he's teaching Torah amongst all of the different tribes in all the areas that they are. And Shimon also, some of the Mifashim point out that their tribe is somewhat divided between two different areas in Eretz Israel, one around Yehuda and one elsewhere. Bitzchak Arama doesn't really take that approach and when it says that he will be or they will be divided and spread out, if you look at that pasuk, the topic of that pasuk is not Shimon and Levi, Rabbi Yitzchak Arama points out, but rather it is their anger. And so he explains, It doesn't really seem like Shimon is actually scattered. So some will say that Shimon and Levi were scattered from one another. Rabbi Yitzchak Arama doesn't take that approach. He rather he says, he wasn't saying that the people or the descendants Shimon and Levi will be scattered, but rather those two inyanim, those two things that he's addressing. What are those? It's talking about their anger that it should be spread. Now, what does that mean? The anger should be spread. Referring probably to Aristotle in his Sefer Midot, in which he explains that, of course, Ka'as anger is a terrible quality trait, but Ka'as anger does have a place in very specific minor circumstances. And if you look at Harambam's Sefer uh, Hilchot Deot, you'll also see that Rambam speaks incredibly harsh on the topic of anger but does say that there are moments in which not anger, but the appearance of anger or the demonstration of anger are important in order to get a point across in order to make uh, sure that the people or a certain situation is understood as severe and important and serious. So over here, Yaakov is pointing out that, yeah, your anger in which you came and destroyed an entire city of Shechem, that anger is a terrible quality. That anger should be removed but not exactly removed, but rather scattered, meaning diluted and spread out in a very much, uh, in a minor fashion amongst all of Am Yisrael. And though and there he continues, all of this anger built into Shimon and Levi, it should be scattered amongst all of Am Yisrael in minor small doses. Everyone should take a little bit that's appropriate for him because in certain circumstances, at least the appearance of anger is helpful and useful. And therefore, it's permitted in those very, very diluted circumstances. But it shouldn't be all congregated in one person. Because it's like a fire that spreads and destroys. And that is what Yaakov was saying should be scattered. And it's very interesting, this approach of Rabbi Yitzchak Arama, that he's saying that Am Yisrael, they need a little bit of this anger, a little bit of this toughness, a little of this harshness in very, very small doses. About 400 years after Rabbi Yitzchak Arama, you have the commentary of Rabbi Shimshon Raphael Hirsch, who lived in Germany in the 1800s. And he reads these pesukim and the spreading of anger. He reads it almost exactly like Rabbi Yitzchak Arama, but applies it very much to his day and age in Germany, in which it seems like he was already sensing, already feeling the anti-Semitism in Germany that was taking place. And he describes how Jews in the Galut are so low and are so despised. 
and are despicable in the eyes of the goyim and are made fun of and are kicked around and are pushed around all the time. When Am Yisrael is united in, in Eretz Yisrael and they're all together and they're strong, anger can be a terrible thing. Forcefulness can be a terrible thing. It could lead to destruction and abuse of power. But when Am Yisrael is scattered and they're weak and they're low and they're being taken advantage of and they're being bullied and even worse by the goyim, says Rabbi Shimshon Rafael Hirsch, then they need a little bit of that af the a little bit of that umph and anger and strength that Shimon and Levi had presented at the time, just a little bit, because that's what gives them strength. And just to read some of his words, after Am Yisrael was scattered from their nation, from their peoplehood, all over the Galut, we always kept a little bit of Shimon and Levi that gave them courage and a strength, the excitement, and the pride of being a Jew. That way, the spirit of the Jewish people was always alive and strong. Even after the nation, the people of Israel in Eretz Israel was gone and forgotten. And this is such an amazing uh, commentary inspired by Rabbi Yitzchak Arama, by Rabbi Shimshon Rafael Hirsch, who saw the anti-Semitism of Germany coming. And he's pointing out how that chutzpah, so to speak, of the Jewish people is what keeps us going. And he says, even though our government referring to back in the days of the kings is gone, we still retain it. And how amazing that only 70 years or so later after Rabbi Shimshon Rafa Hirsch, that chutzpah of the Jewish people reestablished a state because they said, we're not going to be pushed around and we're not going to be bullied, but we're going to stand up for ourselves and we're going to retain the dignity of Am Israel. And that comes, says Rabbi Shimshon Rafael Hirsch, and also kind of Rabbi Yitzchak Arama, that that chutzpah, that strength, that anger, that power is a little bit taken and that is spread out from Shimon and Levi, the curse or maybe the blessing that Yaakov gives at the end of this week's parasha, Sefer Bereshit, Chazak Baruch. Thank you for learning with us. Sefer Bereshit with the commentary of Akedat Yitzchak, Rabbi Yitzchak Arama. Very excited to learn with you this commentary through Sefer Shemot. Be'ezrat Hashem Barach. Thank you very much and Shabbat Shalom.